has been close to three years since the brutal murder of former ICT manager at the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, Chris Msando, just days into the 2017 general elections. As authorities dig through the evidence in search of the perpetrators, attention is now shifting to the commission. Former Commissioner Rosalind Akombe now claims that her push for an inquest into the death was thwarted by then-CEO Ezra Chiloba. But as Zena Bismal reports, this is not the first time Akombe is stirring up the waters. In a social media post early on Sunday, former IBC Commissioner Rosalind Akombe sparked a heated conversation online with a tweet of an email on the gruesome murder of ex-ICT manager Chris Musando, which she claims came from the Commission's former Chief Executive Officer Ezra Chiloba. On 29th July, I said I will testify at an independent judicial inquest into the murder of my colleague Chris. I received this email from Ezra Chiloba, former CEO IBC Kenya, writes Akombe. To which she claims Chiloba responded, and I quote, Dear Rosalind, do not attempt to rewrite history. Our silence is not your license. Yours, Ezra. This is not the first time the former commissioner has pointed back to her former employer in the murder mystery. We'll be available to the public. Msando's body was found in a thicket at Muguga Forest in Kikuyu three years ago. The post-mortem indicating he was tortured before being killed. Three years later, still no answers on exactly what transpired. In the heat of the 2017 electoral push and pull, Akombe fled to the U.S. eight days before the October 26th repeat presidential poll from where she announced her resignation from IABC. She claimed her life was in danger. I've been ag agonizing for months now about my role at the commission and uh, my effectiveness at the commission and my safety actually and security. NTV reached out to Jiloba for a response but he declined to comment. The Commission is also yet to respond to the claims by Dr. Akombe. But the Commission's troubles extend beyond the murder mystery. The acrimonious resignation of top commissioners left the electoral body without quorum at a time when planning for the next general election should be beginning. Then there is a possible referendum should the Building Bridges Initiative push for amendments to the supreme law. Zainab Ismail, NTV.